Today, I'm going to talk to you about this GPS guided rover. Now, what this uh, started off as is an eight scale rock crawler, a Max Stone. Pretty much what I've done is heavily modify this thing. I've added an aluminum plate that I've uh, cut out with a CNC router. And attached to it, I have a uh, autopilot system, which is normally used for airplanes and quadrocopters and whatnot but is also very capable to be used on a rover platform and there is software and firmware that's specifically designed for this application. Now, added to it, I have a GPS unit and a radio transceiver. This allows me right here to control this unit via computer. I can also get telemetry data from it and update GPS coordinates and so on and so on. I can even con configure it through the radio. So. At no point do you have to have the same plugged up to a computer. It can configure everything via radio. What I also have is a GoPro camera and a 600 milliwatt to 5.8 gigahertz uh, uh, video transmitter, which I can transmit to my Fat Shark video goggles. And I'll have also upgraded the antenna to a uh, cloverleaf antenna, which greatly enhances the range. Another cool feature about this unit is that I can, at any time, use a regular radio to take control over it. I can simply flip a switch and I can make, uh, I can regain manual control of the unit. Um, so if this thing starts going astray, I can stop it in its tracks and have manual control. Now, this unit also can control the camera gimbal. So as this thing moves around, I can actually stabilize the camera mount so I can have it point to a certain direction at all times and it maintains it best it can. So I hope this gets you excited about the world of uh, GPS guided vehicles as well as first person view. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.